Good morning, everyone. This is Shireen today doing the presentation for the Cleopatra uh, facial. How are you? Please, you're unmute. But if you'd like to uh, ask questions or anything, use the chat or unmute yourself. How are you today? Everybody's good? All right, so we're going to do something exciting today. We're going to apply uh, just like we did at the United Spa Expo. We're going to do a mini facial. I'm waiting for my uh, model. But basically, we're going to do a mini facial using the green power peel at the highest strength. So we're going to use the glycolic acid and we're going to mix it with the green power peel together. So this will get you the strongest version of it. And remember, in this peel, you have tamarind, saba, and then uh, you also have uh, deuterium, which is a uh, very uh, fruit that goes in West Africa, Australia. And it's very rich on vitamin C, potassium, calcium. And of course, you have um, the fruit of the tree of life, uh, the baobab, which is also a type of vitamin C. So all this included in the product mixed with the glycolic acid is going to give you a nice exfoliation. Now, the side effect that could happen with that is uh, hardening of the skin, which is normal, just like a alligator skin, a little bit on certain area. Uh, tangling, maybe when you apply it, but because we have the leaves of the tree of life, it will help uh, with the inflammation. But you may sense uh, a heat maybe at night after applying the products and uh, a little bit of, I would say, flaking. It's possible. But after a week, of uh, applying that product, the skin is amazing. Like 10 days after, uh, the pores are tighter, the, uh, the skin is brighter. So this product is amazing to use on people that have scarring, okay, large pores, wrinkles, uh, basically anyone, but not rosacea. I would not put it on, use it on rosacea. Now, the um, uh, lighter version of it is if you mix this so you will do, you're going to use a, um, we do have it right there. So it's basically using a one gram spoon, which in reality is 0.5. So if you don't have your spoon, come by and pick one up. Uh, so we have the spoons here available. So you're going to mix one with this, and then you're going to use um, three times of the glycolic acid in it. Okay, so then you have like a kind of a dilution going on. So, uh, and then you mix it and you apply it on the skin. So you can leave it up to 10 minutes. Now remove it. And after that, what can you do uh, with this green power peel? You can do two things. You could apply a chocolate mask like we did. And this is gonna be the, the facial basically for December because we get close to the holidays and the hot cocoa, et cetera. Or you can mix it with the gold, like today we're going to do. Why the 24K gold? Because it is an anti-inflammatory, so we do have it there. You can see a little bit the color, how goldish it is. So the gold, the 24K, gold is anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's antibacterial, it stimulates collagen. Uh, not only that, gold is the most powerful conductive of light and electricity. So what's going to happen is when it gets into your skin, it's going to wake up all the cells and make them work faster. And every uh, active ingredient that is in this product, such as vitamin C, all right, everything is going to be activated faster. It is possible to use LED light with it, uh, with, I would do the red. Uh, basically to stimulate the collagen because it will activate even more the gold to uh, stimulate the collagen. And we also have turmeric in the product uh, and turmeric is a super anti-inflammatory. So I believe my model is here. I'm going to put you on hold for a second and have her uh, and start with her. Right. So my model is right here. I'll be moving the camera in a bit. So basically, um, since we are a little bit short in time, I am going to apply the uh, rebalancing toner. So right here, you could use the rebalancing toner or the ruby toner if you like. 
But after a cleanse, I recommend the rebalancing toner because it's more economical. And um, so this is actually what we're going to apply right now here. So I pretend, uh, and her face is clean that we clean basically a couple times the skin. So you wanna do two wash with the milk cleanser. Uh, and then <clears throat> I would not recommend the deep cleanser unless you're working on scarring and deep pores. So in that case, yes, I will do it. I'm telling you about it's a one gram spoon. Come by and pick up one. So this is the green par peel. So what you're going to do is take a full spoon of it right here, like that, basically. And then you're going to put it in your little container. After that, you're going to use your glycolic acid right here. So this is for the stronger version. And you're going to fill it a couple times. One, two. And then we're going to mix that. The consistency of it is going to be uh, like a syrup, basically. So you could see here how it dilutes it super easy. So you just mix it super fast. So for this one, you don't need to prepare in advance. Uh, you can just mix it right there at the moment. The gold is completely different. And while the peel is on her face, I will go in to explain how to mix it. So right there, you take a brush and then you start applying it. Right there. So avoid the eye area. And if you'd like an exfoliation there, you can apply the uh, bright eyes. So how does it feel, Monica? Very, very fresh. Oh, it feels fresh. Does it tangle mm, or no, burn? Not yet. No. OK. So very important, as an esthetician in Florida, you cannot do medium peels, or uh, they call it deep peel that are done by dermatologists. The deep peel, I completely not, uh, I would say, done anymore. Remember, those have been done since the 18th century, the peels, and then more. They were more um, uh, in style uh, in the 50s, but now we have other ways like microneedling, uh, microdermabrasion, hydrodermabrasion, different techniques to help exfoliating the skin, dermaplaning. Uh, and in the past, they were just focused on the peels because peels have a big side effect. So when you are working like this at the epidermis level, even though the collagen uh, is going to be stimulated in the, epi in the derm because of the glycolic acid, it is still considered mild. Uh, even though we are calling ours mild, medium, uh, I mean, and strong, basically, this is regarding, uh, I would say, the first type of peels that are really targeting the epidermis. So. Um, you have to educate your clients, letting them know that it's not because it's burning and uh, because uh, it is stronger that the result will be better. At the opposite, they can have an infection in their body, they can have the liver shut down, their heart shut down, and uh, of course, um, a dark spot uh, in doing the opposite. Instead of lightening the skin, you darken the skin on certain area. So people that are prone to peel right now doing the, like I said, the first level, the medium, the light one, the light version are mostly uh, people with light skin, dark skin. But if you are working in the medical field, you will not use any, uh, do any of those medium peel on people that have, um, I would say a type four on the, at the scale of Fitzpatrick. This is too much, uh, like a darker skin, uh, you can have a reverse effect. 
So this is super safe. You could do even this peel after a microderm abrasion, a derma planning. Uh, uh, you can increase uh, the result, improve the result by doing this, uh, this type of peel after using the different modalities. Now, the way I'm gonna mix the gold is going to be exactly the same way. So we're gonna take our spoon and we're gonna take one spoon of the gold and mix it with eight to nine spoon of water. I like to mix them separate. I like to have the golden powder in one cup and the water in another one and then mix it and prepare it in advance. So you want like 15 to 20 minutes preparing the products in advance. So how are you doing so far? Perfect. Very good. How to remove the peel? Very easy. You will use a uh, regular gauze water, remove it. And uh, at the opposite, the goal is going to be a little bit more challenging because it's a kind of, um, uh, I would say, uh, it's a kind of jelly. So you want to remove it with a spatula or our stones, the scrapping stones. So, uh, so then the cleaning part will be way easier. So right there we have, I'm just gonna move my model a little bit this way. All right, so I, I just wanted to show you a little bit the face so you could see the peel is still applied, no burning sensation. Uh, because we're doing a mini facial, so I'm going to cut it to five minutes and I'm gonna use gauzes because you're using some acids. Uh, even though there is no extractions, it's uh, better for your hands to use the gauzes, I mean the, uh, the gloves. And then uh, here we go. I'm going to um, either use gauzes or sponges. So we're using the sponges now. And I'm going to remove the mask, I mean the PL. So right there, you could see, super easy to remove. I already see a brighter skin and we only put it on for like four or five minutes. So if you're thinking of mini facials, this is a, this is a good one to do um, like a shortcut for the peel. And remember, I use a glycolic acid. So the other versions are using water or morberry zyme, which is super mild. The morberry will be used more for people that have a sensitive dry skin, rosacea, I will do the morberry. Thicker skin, hyperpigmentation, scarring, uh, large pores, I will do that version, which is, uh, the stronger version, strong of the green peel. It's all organic. Here you go, you could see. Because as I mentioned, we mix, um, this products has leaves of the tree of life, which is an antihistamine. It cannot help and numb the skin for the pain, the burning sensation. Excellent. So I can notice here a little bit of redness around um, the line of above the mouth. So I'm going to show you a little more so you could see. Can I uh, have you like lift it a little bit? Yep. So you could see right here, we see a little bit of redness right there. So, uh, but that's it. The rest is perfectly fine. Now I did mix the gold right there. This time I got it a little bit too liquidy. So this, uh, this is, uh, this you could still work with it, but this is a version that is a little bit too um, liquid. So I've done it overnight. Uh, you could prepare it overnight as well, or you could do it 15 to 20 minutes in advance. And remember it's a one spoon of, uh, one spoon of powder with eight spoon, start with eight spoon of water. And then when you start mixing it and you feel like the solution is too thick, then you could do, uh, you could do uh, an extra one, number nine. So how to apply it with the um, brush, you put your first layer. So the first layer I know for every mask is super important. We always tell you do not use in excess the product. One layer is good enough. This is different. Okay, because it's a uh, jelly consistent, you're going to apply your first layer all over the face, and then you're going to apply a second coat. So the, uh, the reason is you don't want the products to over dry. 
It has different type of seaweed as well to hydrate and tight the skin. And if you let it over dry, it's going to be too hard to remove and too tight. It's going to feel too tight on the skin. So you want to apply the first layer like I'm doing right now. And then you will apply a second layer. And um, one spoon is good enough, it's plenty for the entire face. And then if you'd like to do the, uh, the neck, I would suggest half of another spoon. Now, I'm not doing it in this video, but you will have a video done that we will send you the link on how to apply it, how to remove it. I've done it on a model uh, after derma planning, so you can definitely do the gold after a derma planning or microdermabrasion if you desire. So right now, I already did one coat. I'm going to do my second coat. Um, <clears throat> are there any questions so far? And you can unmute yourself if you'd like to ask a question, because I'll be unable to uh, write back at that moment. All right, so I'm putting my second layer. Now, uh, we do have an LED light that has like, um, it, that we have a couple of them. We have a mask where you can put it directly to the skin. That is not the one that I recommend. And you do, we do have another one that you, um, that is like an arch and you put it on. I'm gonna show you an example. I'm not gonna put it on just because of timing, but I'm going to show you what it could look like. So right there, I put enough, I use all the products and I'm gonna let it sit. Now, you could do definitely, uh, you know, I won't do it more than 10 minutes. You could do 15 if you'd like. Uh, five minutes like right now, but I would not do more than uh, 10 minutes because it would be too harsh to, to uh, remove. All right, so now I'm giving it another uh, five minutes. So now can you put it under the eyes directly? Absolutely, you could. So I'm going to uh, show you like her right there, her face. I'm going to lift it slightly. Um, I'm going like, to go up, up like that, yep. Yeah. So right there. So under the eye, definitely, because it brightens the skin. So this is OK to use under the eyes, not the green peel, because you don't want any glycolic acid getting into the eye and uh, damaging uh, the, uh, the, the, the cornea of the eye. So this is different. Uh, and um, when you're doing your green power peel organic, you can definitely put some bright eyes under the eye, like, like, like we explained. All right, so now, how are we going to remove it? Spatula or flat stone. So this is a scrapping stone that we use. We can exfoliate with this stone, but you can also use the other side to remove any excess of products. So, and you want to have another container so you can remove the products. Because if you have to do this with the gauze or the gauzes or the sponges, it's going to take forever. So what you want to do is like that. Remove it. You can see here the product. Wow, her skin is amazing already. And that was just five minutes. You could see right there. So you could see the products here. Same thing here, we're removing. I love this uh, scrapping stone because you can be so creative with it. Like this month, uh, the last month of uh, October, that was great with a blooming mask to scrub the skin. It's another type of exfoliation. And you could uh, right now, for example, remove this product with it as well. So here I have the gold. I'm not gonna reuse it, I'm just removing it. Right, beautiful. Same thing around the nose. So you try to remove as much as you can. So you have less work to do uh, to uh, clear the face. So right there, I think this is good enough. 
Uh, I'm just gonna have you looking at the camera up for a little bit. So we removed as much as we could. And now what I'm going to do is use <clears throat> my sponges to remove any excess of the mask. And you see how easily it removes. It removes super easily because it stayed hydrated. But if it had dried, it would have take a longer time. Beautiful. So right there. Awesome. Beautiful right there. Just removing. You okay? Hey. So the sponges, and I like to clear it for a couple times. Now, if you have any products around the eye, you could use a Q-tip to kind of remove if it's very close uh, to the eye area. So right here, I could see some. So what I'm doing is just clearing it with the Q-tip. Beautiful. Again, so how many times do you have to rinse off the face? I would say at least three to four times, just to make sure you're removing everything. So right there, here, definitely right there. Wow, her skin is so good, looks really good. You could see a little bit, um, it's a little bit pink, that's normal, we just did a peel. And, and remember she, um, actually Monica, if I may share, is a cancer survivor. Uh, she's been cancer free for what, five, six years now? 10. 10. Oh my God, time flies. Mm -hmm. But we were able to do this on her. So it's perfectly okay. Uh, but she does have a sensitive skin. Uh, because we work with her often as a model, her skin is used to the product. That's why I was able to do the glycolic acid. But if I had her as a client uh, once in a while, I would have definitely do the lighter version with water or the mulberry. So here it looks fantastic. So now very important is uh, I'm going to use now the Ruby toner and it's to make sure that every, every product's residue uh, is out and then the Ruby stimulate blood flow as well. So I'm using my uh, cotton right there and you could see almost no products left. A little bit of yellowish due to the turmeric but everything is kind of off the skin little bit here. So this tells me that I have to do a second coat. I mean, clean, uh, pass the toner another time. So right there. So I'm just applying the ruby. And the way, the reason why is you don't have to, but the ruby gives a nice glow as well. It stimulates blood flow. So you could also advertise it for the holidays and uh, people would love to know that they're having products with ruby, diamond, gold, etc. So this is fantastic. Uh, it's for your marketing and also the effect that it has on the skin. So I do see again. So I'm going to pass a, a, a toner number three, three times. Usually it takes three times approximately as well. So right now it's perfectly clear. Beautiful. Now you could definitely apply uh, the lip plumper or lip uh, products on the skin. And I am going to seal it with the vegetable collagen. Any type of work that I do, dermaplaning, microneedling, microtomabrasion, anything. At the end, when I put the mask, when I remove it, I like to apply it because it tight, it hydrates. Uh, it creates as well a barrier uh, for the, uh, I, I would say the air, the pollution, it uh, keep the skin clean, it tightens it. It's amazing, right there. Wow, she's glowing. And that was really a 20 minutes facial. Amazing. Wow, super cool. And then we do have a lip treatment, thank you so much. So the lip treatment, the way I will apply it is with a Q-tip. right there and put it on the lips. So you can definitely do it during the mask, but you could also put it on 
at the end to uh, leave on and to hydrate the lips and shape them. So here we go. We are done. I'm going to uh, show you. We're going to have her a little bit up and up. Beautiful, glowing, hydrating, brighter, tighter. Thank you so much.